Hey everybody and welcome to the Honeybee Stamps YouTube channel. This is Kelly and first of all I have a little inspiration from Bobby using the brand new Brilliant Day Stamp and Die Set. So this is a look at the Brilliant Day Stamp Set. As you can see there, there are pencils there at the bottom. I love that lineup of pencils and crayons at the top. And then you have lots and lots of greetings to go along with your pencils and crayons. You have You Add Color to My World, Thank You, To a Brilliant, and then there's My Friend, Teacher, Have a Brilliant Day, You Make Life Colorful, wishing you a colorful birthday you are the brightest crayon in the box and you are brilliant these are so fun to color and to cut out using the coordinating die set as you can see there it cuts out the pencils and the crayons a couple of the greetings and then the greeting that says you are the brightest crayon in the box and it adds the little banner there in the center. So I'm going to show you how I have stamped these, colored my pencils and crayons, and then cut these out using the coordinating die set. Here I just did good old yellow pencils. I love this. Now it is going to cut the top side of the pencil. So these will make great borders for your cards and projects. There's also a die for the crayons. As you can see there, I have my rainbow of crayons all lined up. Now, either way, you turn an A2 size card. So that's four and a quarter by five and a half. These dies and stamps are going to fit. So if you like your cards horizontal or vertical, it's going to fit perfectly. I'm going to give you a look there at the crayons and the pencils. So fun and perfect for back to school. And then you have those awesome greetings as well. Have a brilliant day. And then you have you are the brightest crayon in the box. I love the little banner there in the center. And you are brilliant. Perfect for our kiddos going back to school. Now here is some beautiful inspiration from Brenda. I love her colored pencils and I love the way that she has stacked up those dies to really make them stand out. Alba has created this rainbow design and I love how she's paired her pencils with the rainbow gems. This card is from Carol and she used the over the rainbow six by six paper pad as the background for her lineup of crayons there. And then I love this more pastel version from Jill. I love the way she was creative and used the die at the bottom for her sentiment. Now, there's a super cute crayon box card and envelope die set available. There are two sizes. There's an extra large that will fit the larger die machine, such as the standard Big Shot or Platinum 6. And then soon there will be available a smaller die set that will be universal for everyone. So it will fit in every die machine out there. So there's something for everybody. I'm going to give you a look at that die, are the die set in the package. This is how it comes. As you can see that large envelope there that you can run through your die machine. And then there is a little background there that will be perfect for you to write a message on. And then there's everything that you need to decorate your crayons and your envelope or crayon box. So I've got all my colorful pieces of paper cut out. Now this is the perfect project to use all those little scraps of paper that we save. I don't know if you guys are little paper hoarders, but I know I am. So I had so much fun being able to use my scraps and die cut all of these dies out to create this envelope and super fun crayon card. So I'm getting everything scored and fold it down with my bone folder. I'm going to use some super strong adhesive such as score tape to get everything put together. That way it doesn't come apart either in the mail or on the front of a card. Get my little envelope made there. Now this is the card part of this set. So it cuts out, you can see there a little rectangle, you've got the little crayon points there to the top. 
and also there are dyes to create all those crayons. So there's a die that creates the crayon itself, which is the part with the point, and then there is a die that's a long rectangle and that creates the wrapper or the paper that goes around the crayon. So you can decorate that any way you want to. And I'm going to speed this up so this goes a little bit quicker. You can see how fun this is and how easy this is. This would be a super fun project for kids or grandkids or school, uh, school project. There are dies that will cut out the decorations for the front of your envelope or box. I cut those out in green using a little bit of tape runner and liquid adhesive to get those little decorations onto the front of my box. And then there's also the word color. I chose to cut those out in rainbow colors there and I'm getting it all lined up and adhered to the front of that envelope with liquid adhesive. And then I adhered all those little crayons to the front of that card piece and that, so it's perfect. On the back you have room to write your little message. On the front part you can add a sentiment as I'm doing here from the Brilliant Day stamp set. And I just love this. I think it's so fun. I think it would be fun as well to use those crayons by themselves on the front of a card. You could use them singularly. You could stack them up. Now, I have a top folding card here, and as you can see, that's going to fit perfectly on just an A2 size card. So that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I wanted to show you how well the crayons and the pencils from the Brilliant Day stamp and die set fit into that little crayon box. So if you'd like to color your crayons or pencils and add those into the crayon box, that's a possibility as well. You just snip off the ends that you don't need and slip those right into your box. Now this card was designed by Carol. She did a lineup there of rainbow crayons and used the rainbow gems. And I just love how she made the color word on the front of her envelope glossy. It's super cute. The crayon box, a card, and envelope, along with the Brilliant Day Stampin' Die Set, are available right now at honeybeestamps.com.